How on a day, my Obongalistic people? I welcome on to Morin's View TV. Morin's View, welcome on now, my people. When I welcome, when I well done, my people, hmm. the information where they let us know now allegedly is that there is a very big quarrel and a very big misunderstanding and a very good blaming. And uh, now you cause them, now me cause them, where they happen now for a, a, for the a grandfather house will be. Uh, the act of father, you the daughter and the papa. So there's a very good back boost in that house right now because uh, a lot of things are happening and you know say the court case is just few days or few weeks from now. The 15th of October is just around the corner and fear don't grip everybody. It is obvious that May is gone, not that she will go, but she's already gone. It is obvious that May is not returning to the duchies it is obvious and they are now beginning to accept the fact that they have lost her and lost everything that came with her so that is why they quarter themselves and they are talking about the issue why and how they even make the mistake how did everything go is there anything they can do again is there anything that can happen and at the end of the day my people they begin to blame themselves too because you the duchies still maintain the fact that Links a dochie, Rita a dochie, him mama will be married by Sir Joseph a dochie, and partially in papa. Now, these are the people way way be in problem because, for according to him, for say these people join fully and support him with Judy, say everything wouldn't have happened like this. Say me would have wouldn't have gone because if they had talked to me, keep talking to me like every other person. Keep you know using their relationship with me to persuade her to stay that me wouldn't have made the decision of going. But because these people supported me in total, that was why me decided to go and leave them completely. And that anything that happens to the Duchess family after me left and everything, that links a Duchie, Rita a Duchie and Barrister Josephine should be held, held responsible. Because these are the people. According to you, the Duchy say the thing they, they even pen and where will be say now mama. Now he go encourage me, say make him go court. Because me, the complaint say there's a domestic violence in the marriage and everything. Say no understand where in the three term. Say now him mama tell and say make him go court. So that the domestic violence go, go stop. You understand? So something like that, he get angry, you know. You know, be say he get angry with his wife. Do what he's supposed to do when he get angry. Now him mama can't tell him wife say make him go. Cause say the thing they even the pen but he look never nothing he go do, because a mama na lawyer. For a lawyer like a mama, we just direct him wife say make him go court. Now in direct him wife to go court, the wife can't do can't go get a family lawyer, because a mama say he be uh, 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 the anti domestic violence uh, president of Enugu legal team. So because of that, uh, NBA Enugu. The, the anti-violence committee of MBA Nugu be the chairperson. So because of that, he now directs say this thing cannot happen in her own home. Can't direct me making go, you know, court. Can't direct him to a family lawyer. And from there, now in May, everything can escalate which like this. Say so, now in Mama, uh, auntie will be written Duche and links. Say now then be the problem. Now then pursue me. Now then cause everything will happen. So he just follow them, they talk, or they argue, everybody just keep quiet. They look them. Now Uche and Leo come begin to blame themselves. They say, well, if they had known it would have been like this, they would have stood with links and they make sure say they stop you, Le Doche, from doing this. But I think that the best thing to do for you that time was to support him because he was behaving like someone depressed, someone having issues, but and they cannot abandon their brother on that kind of state. So all they did was just to assist their brother, not that uh, they were, you know, trying to cause a problem to me. But they didn't also look at it as it will cause any problem to me because they felt me should understand that this is a young man who is just trying to experiment this. At the end of the day, it will not still work out because they believe, say, if Judy Austin came, that Judy Austin will still go because they know it is not Judy Austin, it is not you, Le Duce, that's making the bunny. And they know that if polygamy starts, me will, will block 
everywhere that money is entering with you and already when Saba hold them and everything that they know that definitely definitely Judy Austin will not cope she will go so they were just doing it maybe let it be that you know you the Duchy at a point to have a mentally satisfaction and everything he may not go so everybody was just complaining and blaming himself or blaming the other person so while they are talking and talking you the Duchy was still insisting calling the name of Lynx Edoche um, Rita Edoche and then Mama Nai Lynx come open up and tell them say see I didn't just start talking. All of you saw what happened and delve into it, jump into it and start supporting and start starting again. I made my research very well before I started saying anything. I made underground research, you know, about the person that is coming because I am not that kind of person that will attack someone before you attack a blessing or attack a favor that is coming to you. I just wanted to, you know, know the personality of this person the background of this person that is coming to become a second wife to my brother. I didn't just start talking about second wife. My problem first wasn't a second wife issue. My problem was the personality of the person that is coming first, even though I have already stood against the second wife. But before I start making any comment, because I would have kept quiet and say what I want to say and go, but before I start insisting and fighting against the second wife coming in was when I made inquiries and discovered that the person coming into this family is a problem. And May doesn't need that problem. You understand? So after that, I had a meeting with May and I discussed severally with her to let her understand. You understand? How she can stay and take care of him picking them, leaving you, Leduce, and this lady alone. But the only thing that made May not to accept to stay was the personality of this person. Because we have to make inquiries to discover. Because I've already agreed with May that May should stay, you know, and take care of the picking them. What is it? But when we discover that the person that is coming is a mad person, the person that is coming is a Kwensu, is the daughter or the first daughter of the devil who can do anything, who is ready to buy anybody at any time, who is not looking at anybody's face. That was when the issue came up and said, wow, this is a very serious case. Very, very serious indeed. So that was when you see me start fighting and may start saying he, she cannot, she cannot. Because you cannot stay with Judy Austin in the same house. It is not a person you can stay in the house. Go and check the background. The father, the mother, everybody is diabolic. The mama, their sister, they bro, they are highly, highly diabolic. In fact, I am afraid because Yule Doche doesn't know what he has moved himself into because he must have roped him into so many spiritual powers. They must have been in bondage in a great deal that he doesn't know. Because when we see that the person you are there, they are dealing with is not a human being. Do you know why Mr. Basso was very happy and not dragging Judy Austin? All he was saying is about the children. Do you know why? Because Mr. Obasi saw hell in the hand of this family because everything about them is diabolic, deal, diabolic, charm, this, that, and they will not consult you when they do it. They will do on your behalf and do for themselves. And it, I, when I discovered a person that Judy Austin is, I became afraid because this is a very good Catholic Christian family. And we are not into that. And I became afraid. I went and told my mom, I said, see, this lady is the first daughter of the devil who sacrifices and cooks for his father every day. And for her father, rather, every day. She is a charm specialist. She is a juju specialist. In fact, the native doctor she doesn't know in Anambra State no exist. The one she does not know does not exist. I'm telling you. So when I discovered that the native doctor that Judy Austin does not know does not exist, I now decided to say no. I had a meeting with me. We looked at it, checked front, back, left, and right. If there is any way, there will be a soft landing for me. No way. The only thing is to leave this marriage for them. And that was it. And that was why you see us still standing with me. We tried everything. All the attack you see, Rita, Mama Rita, you see my mother, you see myself. It's just whether there's any way we can push this lady away. But no, you, Ledoche, held so strongly to the lady. Look at him here, telling us where anybody that's still talking against Judy is not a friend. Because he's already, he's already eating. Eriguya. They don't chop him. Sins. But he, no, no. That's why he, he can't even fight anybody because of Judy. He can't even, he, he was ready to lose everything. And he lost everything because of Judy. Why? Because the power of charm is working. 
He was ready to leave anything. And he lost everything because of Judy. And he doesn't mind what he lost. Because as long as Judy is, exists, that is all he wants. Can you imagine? Look at him. Wasting away. Look at a whole Yule Doche, no endorsement. Look at a whole Yule Doche, no movie, no role, no location, no role to play. Look at a whole Yule Doche, a whole Yule Doche, no movie to produce, nothing. Look at a rising star, very great guy, best in Africa. Everybody was jealous of him. Everybody, every movie star was intimidated when Yule is around. Look at him now. He's just, he can be sold for 10 kobo. Nobody buys him. He can be drought, giving people free. Nobody takes him. Why? Because of the singular fact that he didn't look down. He didn't check. He was just carried away by what he said. Flimsy things, material things. It's not even as if that the lady has money just because the lady has body. Just because of body. Not even because the lady is fine. He's not finer than your wife, only that she's fatter than your wife. If you wanted a fat woman, why didn't you tell me to remain fat so that you'll be holding a fat body? And you went and wasted all your talent, future and everything. When we talk, you, you know, it pains me that you don't listen. Sometimes it's as if let me beat you up. I'm telling you, it's as if let me beat you up. But there is nothing I can do. You are of age. You are not a kid again. And when I look at you, it pains me. I cry in me. I say, is it that, what is wrong with this boy? But at the end of the day, look at you now. You are still here standing before me and your parents and you're talking rubbish. Trash. Talking trash. Look at it. My people know be smart, you know. So Link Sedoche provoked. He was provoked. He, he now said, look, you are even standing here to, st to tell your own mom that you are against him because he says you shouldn't marry a diabolic, stupid, foolish, and, and wayward lady. Do you know how many ladies, how many men that have slept with Judy? You can't remember. You know before, but since you entered there, you can't remember again. Because he has, he, they have blocked your ear, blocked your psyche, blocked your memory. You cannot reason anything again because you are under the, under, under the bondage of, of, your, of, 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 of Judy's picus. That is all. You are held acoustically, and that is it. Look at Mama Rita you used to worship as your second mother. It's not the person you are ridiculing because of Judy. Look at your mother. That you have never talked against before. You are now fighting her because of Judy. Look at your dad. That you can't stand before him before to talk. You worship him as a servant, not even as a son. But now you can talk to you, anybody, anyhow. Well, I don't blame you, Sha. It is everybody that gave you the reason. I was saying it here. If my dad has listened to me, if he had listened, listened with me, everybody was trying to give you that preferential treatment they have been giving you since you were small. Everything is about you. Everything is about you. When you talk, they say you are jealous of you. Look at it. We have been jealous of you and now the jealousy, they say we have been trying to save you, had pushed you into this. I was so disappointed with Uche and you when they were already fly, fly, flying your flag of, of, uh, of, 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 of second wife. That you Odogu, Odogu, you want to be Odogu. How far? Odogu, how far? Odogu, how far? But the only thing that pains me is that all these your mistakes that were avoidable had led this family into ridicule. He had led this family into losing everything. No integrity again. Everybody talks to us anyhow. Look at Papa no they get endorsement again. Who will give her in him endorsement? Look at, at the village and at the meetings where she belongs. He is no longer being respected the way he used to respect. Because sometimes when it comes to issues of solid strong issues about this, about uh, around, they will call Papa and he will settle the issue because they know he's a man of integrity. But right now, nobody calls him because they will tell you if he's a man of integrity, why hasn't he settled the problem in his own house? Who caused it? The same boy. And you are, we are here talking trash. I don't understand. And I don't even know what to, how to even respond to these things. But no problem, Sha. It is, it is one of those things. I think everybody had learned, but not in a hard, hard way. But I thank God that my hands are up. I thank God that my hands are clean. That I said it and everybody fight me. That I am supporting a foreigner, an outsider, and leaving my brother. All of you are enjoying the business that contract, business and property that came from the family. But when it comes to talking, you say an outsider. Leo, you told me it's an outsider, but you are one of the people enjoying what comes from that family. Uche, you said an outsider, but you know about it. Everybody say, yeah, I'm supporting an outsider, leaving my own sibling. Look at it now. What are we here now blaming ourselves, throwing blames upon ourselves? You see, I never wanted to be in this kind of meeting because I know one day we are going to arrive at this level. I know we are going to arrive at this level. Now, now we are here. What are we going to do? Nothing. Only blames. So, please, you push we spare me time. I have some things to do. Let me go ahead and go ahead and do what I want to do. But let it be known that I, Lynx, said it. I, Lynx, 
said it. My hand, my leg, my arm, everything in no day. I talk her, about nobody listening. My people no be smart, you know, links just leave them. He just leave them and left the house, the room and go walk his way because everybody was down. Everybody was down. Even Mama Josephine Edoche could not talk. Sapet Edoche could not talk. It was only Lynx, it was only Leo and Uche that were just like, well, we didn't do what we did because we are completely against me. We did what we did just to support our brother. There's no other thing they know they will say. So their partner now asked them what's the way forward right now. What's the way forward? And Link stood up and told the dad again and said, There is something I have not understood about you. Whenever it has to do with Judy Austin and you, Leduchi, you always stand at the middle. You don't open up to say something against either Judy Austin or you, or say something in favor, or you are just, just you neither support me nor neither support you, Leduchi and Judy Austin. You always there. You will tell us May is a very good girl, but you are supporting Judy Austin and uh, you, Leduchi's marriage. And that's my challenge I have. Is there anything we're supposed to know that we don't know in this issue? Is there anything, is there any way that these two people had blackmailed you? See, I know personally that Judy Austin is highly diabolic and can do anything. If he had, if she had bewitched you and through, or she had blackmailed you or bewitched you or do anything, there is no blackmail that nobody had heard. If there's anything that Judy Austin has used to blackmail, tell us. I, I personally will stand against it and break the blackmail. I can stand in the social media and, def and, 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 and you know, and ref refute that and say it is not true. I can do that. You understand? So that so that you can stand and say the truth at once. Say the truth once again. This one way you need you will never you need, you will not lie and you will not say the truth. You don't understand? It's, it's something I don't understand. Now you are telling us the way forward as if you don't know the way forward. As if you don't know the way. The way forward now is that May is no longer coming back to this family because of, no matter what we do, even if you like, send everybody home. May will not come back. And another way forward is that Judy Austin have to be separated from you. Simple and short. So that you, Leduce, will go and stay on his own and get his mind at rest. So Peter Leduce said that's exactly what they are working on. And that's why he is, you know, in the, on, the, on the verge of supporting Christabel. And it links say you have come again. You have come again, no? You are on the verge of supporting Christabel. What has Christabel to do with the issue of you, Leduce, and Judy Austin? What has Christabel to do with it? You are the verge of supporting Christabel as what? As third or second or first wife. You see, instead of us to deal with the issue we have already on ground, we are still bringing another issue into it. You are on the verge of support. Is it Christabel the only? Must we use another person? Sapete Doche said it is good to use someone outside the family to fight Judy Austin and send Judy Austin away because. The issue is that Judy Austin has committed so many people. He has committed you, the Duchy. He has committed myself. He has committed, you know, that right now, right now, it's as if everything is in favor of Judy Austin. But let us bring in somebody that can match Judy Austin. Judy Austin, yes, you have said it. Diabolically is high, but Christabel is also high diabolically. Christabel is a woman that I don't know what's wrong with him, with her. From all inquiries I've made, Christabel is not somebody you just push over. She's not a pushover. She's a very strong woman. Financially, she's strong. And, uh, spiritually, she's strong. Physically, she's strong. So Judy cannot win Judy in all these three areas. Both financially, spiritually, and physically, Judy, uh, Christabel is higher than Judy in those areas. So that's why I'm very happy to that somebody like that is already there. And I also want to tell you guys that somebody called me by name Christabel some time ago, introducing herself as a woman that had a child for you, Ledoche. And I will tell you that on that day, she told me that I accepted that, that boy. He said, she said she had given birth to and called you Ledoche Junior. I accepted that you Ledoche Junior. I have not seen the boy. I have not gone to see the boy. You Ledoche himself has not officially told me about the, the lady and the boy. But I have asked him something about it. He accepted. But officially, he hasn't come to say, Daddy, I am married another woman or I have given another woman belay. I have not seen that. But what I'm telling you is that whether he has told me or not, because of what is on ground, I have accepted that lady and that uh, boy that he gave, she gave birth to and I am very much interested in that lady and waiting for the day that you, the Duchy, will officially introduce the lady to me. Then I would speak, I would 
speed it to action immediately to make sure say i finalize everything that is remaining to bring the lady home so that the lady will be a weapon i don't want us to fight i don't want to use any of my kids to fight judy austin i want somebody from outside who can match judy with judy's kind of weapon to fight judy for us so that we will just sit down and be watching three of them fighting watching two of them fighting themselves then at the end of the day whoever that wins and whoever that survives will be the one that we, you know, least tell the stories. But right now, I will tell you, the best thing we need to do now is to just watch and see how the court case will end. Because I've tried everything I can do to make sure, say, we manipulate the court case, but it's not possible. The court case will go normal according to how the lawyers and the judges want it. But at the end of the day, I know that glory will go to God because everything is to the glory of God. I don't want to join forces with anybody again against or for since i have tried everything i could may said she's not interested in the family again and that's all i've been fighting so let everybody prepare for a life without me because definitely definitely it has come my people now so the gist reach out table i say make a touch light on with you now because as the gist on food i will bring you now there are different different things that happen that we will still bring to now how the team be. If you have not subscribed to our channel, please try to subscribe. All our returning subscribers will say, well done, well done. My people make it have a nice day. Bye.